So I've got this rusty old bucket that doesn't have a bottom because um, we had it sitting in the soil for so long. And I thought I would put it into the cottage garden and plant it up with some flowers. And I may sort of put it at an angle like this so it looks like flowers are spilling out. And some of the things I picked up to put in there are these treasure flowers that are really pretty. They're an annual where we are. I also got some um, edging lobelia. And I'm hoping this is what's going to spill out of the bucket and look kind of like water. And I've got a little white lantana and um, some potato vine in this purple color. And I think all these colors look really pretty together. I really love purples and whites and creams and stuff. So, I mean, you guys know how I am. And then, I don't know if I'm going to get around to it today, but I want to plant up these butterfly bushes. I've got three of them. Actually, no, I've got six of them. I've got this color here. It's so beautiful and vibrant. I have tons of butterfly bushes on our property. They're perennial here and they get really huge, but I don't have these colors. I only have the like the standard, you know, purple that you're used to seeing. Um, so this one, here's the name, Cranberry Butterfly Bush. And then I got a white one that's called Buzz Ivory. And let me see if I can get a good shot of the blooms of this one. It's really pretty. I just love the little yellow throats in there. And then the third one is, let's see what this one's called, uh, Black Knight. And this is very similar to the ones I already have. It's just a lot darker purple, really pretty. And then I got three of the little um, white profusion ones. And I'm not sure if this is a smaller variety. I don't think it is. I think it's the standard size. Yeah, seven to nine feet. So I'm gonna plant these up somewhere. I just haven't decided where. So I don't know if I'll get to that, but I wanted to show it to you guys because I just thought they were so pretty. But let's work on this pot for now. I need to pick a spot out in the garden. I want it to be in the cottage garden because I want to add some more structure into the garden and some like stone pieces. So I thought this would be really cute and cottagey out there somewhere. Okay, change of plan. We're just outside the cottage garden. You can see this is the strawberry patch. Cottage garden's in there. I'm gonna do it right here on the corner, right by the irises. So there's something pretty on this edge when you walk in. So. I'm gonna fill this up with some dirt. I'm gonna dig a little bit of a hole so I can get it kind of angled, and then I'll fill it up with some potting soil and we'll plant those up. Oh no, I just realized something. This can't go at an angle because I've got daisy, those little uh, treasure flowers. So those are an upright. So this is gonna have to go upright. Quick change of plan. Oh well, it's not gonna have the effect that I wanted, but that's okay. Isn't that blue so pretty? Yeah. I love it. I kind of want to do a whole edge with these. Yeah. And put this really pretty purple potato line over here. And hopefully this will trail over that way and spill out. I have two of these, it might be a bit much, but we'll see. I'm just gonna cram it all in there, what the heck.
on that one right here because this one will kind of trail a little bit too spill out a little bit I think so I think I'm gonna do it on this side Ooh, that's pretty cute let's get some more soil in there Just tucking in some compost um, along the edges, and so I can make sure that none of these none of these plant roots are touching the metal, because I don't want that to get too hot in the sun. This is a full sun area for half the day, so I want to be careful about that. All right, I think that looks good. It's so pretty, and hopefully this will fill out fairly fast. But I like it. You guys, she is so cute. I was uh, watering in the greenhouse. I look over and she was walking over with this compost bucket. And she's adding compost to my zinnias. <laughs> Isn't that not the cutest thing you ever saw? Look at her, she's so perfect. You guys, it's, you did such a good job, baby. Good job. So there it is, this little spot. It doesn't look like much right now, but I've got some alyssum um, started in my greenhouse, and I'm going to, when they get big enough, I'm gonna plant them out around the pot, so they'll cover this whole area too. Um, but these treasure flowers, I guess they close up at night, which I didn't know. I've never grown them before. Um, so I'm excited to see those in the morning. But I think it turned out pretty cute. I hope you guys like it and I will do some updates when it fills out and when I plant around it and get some compost added in here. Oh, you stepped on one. Careful. How about that one? Can you do that one? This one. We're going to plant some gladiolas. This is the mix that we're using. I'm just going to dump these in a little bucket here because Fallon wants to carry them out there. There we go. And then we need a spade. We've got to bring a spade. Good job. Are you going to cover it up? Yeah, you got to put some dirt on top. Good job. Now we got to cover it.
Meanwhile, the Coral Knockout Rose, she sure is a knockout. <laughs> I get why they named them that. It is so pretty. Look at this. I can just cannot get enough of this rose. I'm definitely planting a hedge of these somewhere. I just gotta find a spot. Out here in the Zinnia breeding area, it's a holy mess because the kids have been playing out here and I've been planting all day, every day, um, trying to get all the zinnias in. Um, so those are doing really well. They look really good. I still have three rows left to do in some other colors and then I've got a few other patches um, out on the other part of the property, but I don't have my zinnia sprouts ready for those areas just yet, so I haven't planted those up yet. Once they get their first set of tree leaves, I'll plant them out. Um, some of them I plant out as sprouts, and I'll show you that process here in a bit as I plant them out tonight, but they're doing really good despite having a lot of wind and very little rain. <laughs> Over here are um, my pro cut sunflowers. I've got white light and white night. I've got these planted elsewhere also, um, but they're doing pretty good. I did lose a few to the birds. You can see there's some empty spots in there. So I reseeded those yesterday. So there's gonna be a little bit of succession going in this patch. And then I plan on starting a whole nother patch on the other side in a couple weeks so that when these are done blooming, I've got more blooming. I can't stop looking at this Peggy Martin rose. It is so pretty, and this is one that Blake, or not Blake, <laughs> Garrett propagated and planted here from our mother bush. And it looks so pretty. Out here in the old market garden, it looks fairly untouched. We have not done very much out here other than plant some climbing beans and some green beans, which you can see these two rows are green beans. These two rows are grass. And then we've got some climbing um, yard long beans in these first two sets of holes. So we got to come in here and weed because everything has come up. And I got a volunteer tomatillo right here. So random. It's either a tomatillo or a ground cherry. So I'm going to leave that there. And then I also have a volunteer over here. And I think it's either saucer squash or spaghetti squash. Actually, there's a bunch. There's some here too and some there. Um, I'll probably just leave those and let them grow except for the ones that are in the grass because Garrett's probably going to mow and till those up. Um, but there's a ton of weeds coming up from the holes, but it's not a big deal. They're easy to pull up when they're in this black plastic. Um, so we got to pull all that up and look at this. Isn't this little wildflower so pretty? If you know what it's called, let me know because I have no idea. So tomorrow morning... Hopefully, or this weekend possibly, we're gonna work on getting this all weeded and we'll get all of our squash planted in and um, our tomatoes and peppers and things like that. This is one of my climbing roses and it's this really pale peachy pink that I love and it's doing really well this year. But I need to come in here and spray them before some fungus gets to them. Here's another one on the other side. They're so pretty. 
picked some little dewberries for Fallon. We have a ton of dewberry plants um, bordering our property, so I like to pick them and give them to her until our blackberries are in. These are really tiny, and they're not the sweetest, but um, our regular blackberries are way bigger than this. You guys have seen previous videos, but she likes them anyway.